Well, hello and welcome to my YouTube channel again. Welcome back if you're returning, I missed you. And welcome in if you're new. I don't know if you saw the title, you probably clicked on it because you saw the title of this video. We're gonna get into the nitty gritty of the finances of being a full-time content creator. That is super interesting to say out loud, actually. I have been full-time content creating for a bit over a month now. And I did promise you guys that I was gonna go into the finances of being a full-time creator. And then life picked me up and spun me away and I was wasn't able to get it done so this video is coming to you a little bit late so please forgive me for that also by the time this video is up i'm gonna be in asia i am traveling to korea japan and china and i'm gonna vlog at all my vlogging youtube channels so go check me out there i just you know love to vlog for my own memory keeping because my memory is bad it's i don't if you want to follow my vlog channel that's cool if you don't want to it's okay too that being said let's get into the finances real quick i quit my full-time job june 20th 2023 yes i actually had a full-time job for a year i worked in esports i worked for dignitas as a social content producer so my job was to make social media content for their social pages i myself was not a content creator for them so there is a distinction i have a whole other video explaining why i quit my job and why i decided to go into full-time content i'm very excited for this new chapter in this new journey and it's been super super fun so far so this video might be a little bit scuffed but we're gonna go and sum up everything that i've earned from when i quit my job until the month after so it will go from june 20th to july 19th i'll do july 20th it makes the math easier so step one i am a twitch streamer so i'm gonna go show you my twitch analytics real quick i just go to the earnings tab so yeah i did do a birthday 24 hour stream in here which is why this is actually much higher of a revenue than what i normally earn in my stream so this is a little bit of a fake news from june 20th to july 20th on twitch i have earned one thousand three hundred and fifty six dollars and 81 cents and i had 393 subs like one hour's worth of ad breaks and I streamed for 69 hours. Also, this is so scuffed, but everyone knows that I love MS Paint. So I know all the cool YouTubers don't do this, but I, I am a lame YouTuber, I guess. So maybe I should actually write Twitch down. Huh? So that's how much I made from Twitch that month. Secondly, you guys all know I have an Etsy shop in which I sell emotes and overlays and stuff like that. And if you do not follow me on Etsy or if you haven't checked out my shop yet, but you want cool stuff, I'm just telling you, you know where to go. I'm just saying. I'm trying to figure out how I can show you like a direct time window for Etsy. So this one might be a little bit tricky because I don't know how to show you like the time window from June 20th to July 20th. I made $2,179 in sales and my net profit for June was $1,830.35. So I'm going to take this number and use it as like my earnings. I know it's not completely accurate, but if you know a better way to get this information, let me know because I don't. <laughs> so next up, we have coffee. On my coffee, I sell emotes and panels as well. I mainly have free resources and free emotes and sub badges for people, etc. But I also do coaching. I offer 30 minute and one hour coaching sessions on my coffee. The 30 minute session is $90 and the one hour session is $175. And people have just donated to me on coffee as well, like very generously. I'm super grateful for that. So let me see if I can, again, find a window for my earnings. I actually didn't realize that finding this awkward like window of how much people paid might be harder than I thought. Dang, do I really have to manually add these up? So after doing the math, I have made $975.50 from coffee in that time window. So again, here's what we have so far. I probably should have picked a better method besides doing this than MS Paint. Next up, we have my YouTube channel. So this one is pretty stagnant. I really haven't been uploading videos for a hot minute, so I'm a little bit uh, slow on this, a little bit late on this. I'm trying to get back into it, but when I quit my job, a lot of stuff like crocked up and I ended up getting really busy out of the blue that I did not expect. So, so let me just set this custom range real quick here. So on YouTube, in the last month, I've made $137.94. I don't make much from YouTube, but it's an honest day's work. So the next one gets a little bit tricky. So I'm in the TikTok creativity beta fund. So to qualify, you need to have at least 10,000 followers, 100,000 video likes in the last 30 days or views, I think views. And you need to be over 18 and not in Canada. I'm really sorry if you're in Canada, but I feel like Canadians just never get it. And then you just have to RNG into the program. So I was really lucky that I got in pretty early and it kind of works like YouTube ad revenue. So as long 
as your video is over a minute long, you get RPM. And then as long as your views qualify, to qualify, the views must be at least three seconds long of the video, etc. Then you will get paid. So, oh my God, I can do like custom time windows for this too. This is so nice. Okay, this is the creativity program beta and I have made $1,291.89 in the window of June 20th to July 20th. Dang, I'm so grateful for this one. I always get a little bit nervous when it comes to these like creativity fun things because they don't last very long. I'm really happy for the money while it's here and it's so good, but I don't know how long it will last, so. I'm not counting on this as being part of my income for anything consistent. So Instagram has this new thing that they rolled out, which is their Reels ad sharing program. It's really unclear who gets into it. They just said a select amount of accounts will get it, but you must be a business account to have it, which I am. And they're doing something similar to the TikTok creativity fund, but with Instagram Reels. So I managed to get into it and I've made some money from it. They don't pay very much, but you can't complain, you know? So in the last month from Instagram, I've made $73.85. So again, to catch you up, this is kind of where we're at now with the amount I've earned in the last month. Just from my content creation stuff, I think this is like my main streams of my, well, like my social media streams of income, not counting sponsorships so far. So the last one we're going to go over, which is like the heftiest one, super grateful for it being hefty, is sponsorships. This one, again, also gets tricky because normally when I count my income, I do not count the sponsorship as income until the money hits my account. But I think for the sake of showing you like what I earned in the month that I went full time, I will count the sponsorships that I did rather than the sponsorships I got paid for, if that makes any sense at all. Because again, I personally, like I said, I do not count any money until the money is actually physically in my account. But again, due to, you know, this, that, and the other, and I'm showing you how much I earned for this one time, I'm gonna make this difference this exception i really should have summed up all this info beforehand i'm like doing the math as we go um okay so i did one brand deal for five thousand dollars but it was found through my talent agency so i get 80 percent of it the talent agency takes 20 percent, so i'll actually pocket four thousand from it i'm not gonna fully say what that one was i did another one for four thousand dollars i did another one for one thousand and i did one for 100 so for sponsorships i did a total of nine thousand one hundred sponsorships i mean i don't know if this is proof i'm just showing you my phone screen but that was how many i did from when i went full-time to a month after so here is everything that we have and then i have to sum all of this up and i have a weird feeling i might have forgotten something but for the time being i'm gonna think that i did not forget anything so that's crazy after i went full-time i have made a grand sum so far of fourteen thousand seven hundred and sixty six dollars and 34 cents from when i went full-time to the month out so i hadn't even tallied up this number yet so that's actually a crazy number to look at. I'm super grateful for this. I'm really grateful to be able to go full time now. I've been wanting to do that for a very long time. So it's super fun and super rewarding and I'm having a great time doing it. I'm going to make another video if I remember talking about like financially when to decide to be a full time creator if that's something you're considering as well and kind of like how I did the finances on my end because I know you guys like learning about my finances. I'm nosy. I like learning about other people's finances. So, so anyways, if you like this video and if you want to, you know, like this video for me being very transparent about my money um, i appreciate it if you liked and subscribed again don't forget to check me out on coffee i have free emotes and resources for streamers and content creators and also on etsy i sell emotes overlays and stuff like that for streamers and i also stream on twitch three days a week mondays wednesdays and saturdays at 7 p.m pst although when this video is up i may still be in my asia travel phase whatever it'll be around when i'm in asia so check out my vlog channel because i will be vlogging about my asia trip i have like six vlogs planned so it's gonna be really fun and exciting so anyways thank you for watching this video guys Peace.